I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. That's not what I meant. You know it. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. <sighs> what a jip. Martin and Lewis. Vanilla Coke. Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? Be my guest. I gotta know what a five dollar shake tastes like. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. All right. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told you. I don't know if it was worth five dollars, it was pretty fucking good. silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's a good question. That's when you know you found somebody really special. And you can just shut the fuck up for a minute, comfortably share silence. Well, I don't think we're quite there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. You sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. Love it when you come back from the bathroom to find your food waiting for you. We're lucky we got anything at all. I don't think Buddy Holly's much of a waiter. Maybe we should have sat in Mount Monroe section. Would you like some coffee? Which one? There's two Monroes. No, there's not. That is Mount Monroe. That is Mamie Van Doren. And I don't see Jane Mansfield. So she must have a night off or something. Pretty smart. Yeah, I got my moments. So do you think of something to say? Actually, I did. However, you seem like a really nice person, and I, I don't want to offend you. Ooh. This doesn't sound like the usual mindless, boring, getting to know you chit-chat. This sounds like you actually have something to say. Well, well, I do, I do. But you have to promise not to be offended. No, no, no. You can't promise something like that. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. So you can go ahead and ask me what you're going to ask me. And my natural response could be to get offended. Then through no fault of my own, I would have broken my promise. Let's just forget it. That's an impossibility. Trying to forget anything as intriguing as this would be an exercise in futility. Is that a fact? And besides, isn't it more uh, exciting when you don't have permission? All right, all right. Well, here goes. Uh, what did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? Who's Antoine? Tony Rocky Horror. You know him. He fell out of a window. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. Another way to say it would be that he was thrown out. Another way would be was he was thrown out by Marcellus. And yet even another way 
is to say he was thrown out of a window by Marcellus because of you. Is that a fact? No, no, it's not a fact. It's just what I heard. It's just what I heard. Who told you? They. They talk a lot, don't they? <laughs> they certainly do. They certainly do. Don't be shy, Vincent. What else did they say? Well, I'm not, I'm not shy. Um, did it involve the F word? No, 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 no. They just said that Antoine had given you a foot massage. And? And, no, and nothing. That's it. You heard Marsalis threw Tony Rocky Hard out a four-story window for giving me a foot massage? Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, I mean, at the time I was told it sounded reasonable. Marsalis throwing Tony out of a four-story window for massaging my feet seem reasonable? No, it seemed excessive, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. I mean, I understand that Marsalis is very, very protective of you. A husband being protective of his wife is one thing. Husband almost killing another man for touching his wife's feet is something else. But did it happen? Only thing Antoine ever touched in mine was my hand when he shook it. At my wedding. Really? Truth is, nobody knows why Marsalis threw Tony out of that four-story window except Marsalis and Tony. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. Ladies and gentlemen, now the moment you've all been waiting for, it's a world-famous Jack Rabbit Slim's Twist Contest. Now this is where one lucky couple will win this handsome trophy that Marilyn here is holding. Now who will be our first contestants? Right here. Want to dance? No, 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 no. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. And now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. Right. So dance good. All right. Yeah. Here for our first <laughs> now let's meet our first contestants here this evening. Young lady, what is your name? Mrs. Mia Wallace. And uh, how about your fellow here? Lucy Vega. All right, let's see what you can do. Take it away. Okay. 